Today's video is all about Need for Speed 2021 and basically me catching up to everything that's gone on so far. If you didn't know already, let me give you a quick refresh. At EA Play last year, we got an early look at Need for Speed 2021. We have since had some leaked gameplay. It's very, very early. It'll probably not look anything. It will definitely not look anything like the game, but it gives us a base idea of what we can expect from the next game. And all we could tell was there was a map and the cars as per usual. So, um, now, you may remember I made a video talking about is there even gonna be a Need for Speed this year? I was worried, I was panicked, I was nervous because I love myself some Need for Speed. Well, it turns out that this kind of confirmed it. In an earnings call, which is basically where EA tells all of its peoples that need to know the stuff they need to know about money and income and do 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 and maybe basically they're telling them that there will be a need for speed. The quota runs from the 21st of October all the way through to the 30th of September 2022. Now need for speed releases in November normally. So it looks like we're getting a need for speed. Now what is in my head, Renfri, is there's no way to describe it as to being, oh, they could also mean that it's going to last this long in updates. They don't mean that at all. It just means that the game is going to launch between then and then. If it doesn't come out in November, it will come out in March. It won't be much longer, but it's, it's looking like it's pretty likely to be a thing. Now, one indicator of this, if you may or may not remember, is that when we spoke about the job listings, we made a video and there were tons of job listings, including producer and like senior producer and associate producer. So many producer roles, so many lead creative director roles that just you have to have when it comes to creating a game. Well, a few months after me checking, they're all gone. Only recently have they just added a list of new job roles that they are looking for. And of course, it's always gonna be the case. There's always gonna be new people and swapping and Corona, and they're gonna be changing how they create games and do, 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 do. That's probably the biggest threat right now is Corona. In fact, if you go to the job page today, it's empty. There's just nothing that they've just, they've got an empty job page. Maybe it's the trickles to make it seem all is fine, all is well. But having a skim through what is available now, jobs wise is anti-cheat software engineer. Again, that's something that you maybe think about a little bit later on even, right? Quality verification, marketing, that's a pretty late role. Development director, head of studio, which is an interesting one because surely they would have already had someone doing that. Or maybe they're like, all right, well, you're all doing it. We need a new fella to do it. Quality verification, marketing, finance, accounting, marketing, producer, associate producer, and marketing communications. The one red flag is actually this is this is new. Uh, they're still looking for a producer now. This was a job role that stood out to me before. It's back for some reason. I would assume that maybe the person has just not really been seen fit for the job, or they've been using someone temporarily all this time. They're still using someone temporary until they find an actual producer. Hello, hello, I'm, I'm here. I would be 100% willing to produce this game. Though I don't know the first thing about producing, so I'm not gonna apply. But as you can see, most of the job roles there, other than producers, are all marketing and marketing and quality assurance and marketing. And so that's good news for us players hoping to get our hands on a new Need for Speed game. Now, I did a couple of polls over on YouTube and Twitter, and you guys assume that the next game is gonna be on the next gen only. Now, here's, here's the thing. It's gonna be out next year. The new consoles, most people even have their hands on those consoles yet. So I'm gonna say, I personally don't, th I think this is gonna be on multiple platforms. Need for Speed has always been one of those games that is just shoved everywhere. And so I'm pretty confident that there will be an optimized built for new gen version, but then they'll make it also available last gen. And you're like, what? How is that even possible? What they did was Spider-Man, didn't they? Which was very surprising because they told us it was built from the ground up for the next generation of console. And then they just ported it across and Sackboy. And so it's possible for them to do this. It's possible for them to optimize the game to a limit for next gen and also putting it down to last gen. He's saying next gen, I mean current gen. It's weird to say that. Now, I also have some good news for you guys. I, I, th this is the main reason I've been waiting is I wanna bulk up as much information as I possibly can to fire it all to you as quick as possible in one big, beautiful package with a lot of info. So if you do not remember, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered was launched. Yay, great. Of course, this doesn't give us a 100% look as to what has happened here. Hot Pursuit Remastered on Steam launched day one 
And so that's where you would think that a lot of people would buy it. If most people that buy PC games buy it on Steam. And Origin, of course, was the main thing. But, but now EA games are launching on Steam from the go. A lot of people are just doing that. Well, uh, the, the amount of people that have purchased Hot Pursuit, it's not great. Hopsy Remaster's full owners on Steam sits between a staggering 20 to 50 thousand people <laughs> I, I know it's incredible i'm i'm happy at the fact that hop 2 remaster didn't do very well on steam at least of course on consoles it's definitely going to do more it's always the case it's only a very maybe 10 percent of what it's going to look like but it does tell us a big story and the heat which launched late on steam it was out on origin way before it was available on steam need for speed heat is sitting at between one and two million owners copies sold on steam that is awesome considering one major factor is that ea expected need speed heat to sell between three and four million in its time <laughs> that means the, the the lowest player base platform steam because it launched six months seven, eight months after it came out properly has up to 2 million people that own the game. Now, again, I'm, I'm still sorting over that, but w the fact is they assumed that the game wouldn't do as great, and it did. They had less budget, and they had less time and so on to create this game because they were told what they were going to be closed, but in fact, they destroyed the odds. They smashed it out of the park. Of course, PlayStation is going to be the best-selling platform as to where Need for Speed games lie, and then Xbox and Origin. And at the bottom is Steam because it launched so much later. So, this is safe to assume that this game has sold incredibly well compared to Hot Pursuit Remastered, which people clearly know is a remaster because there's a remaster on it. Well, honestly, I had... I want to speak deep to you here is that I had a worry that Hot Pursuit Remastered would do well. And if it did well, Christ going to be like, oh, look, we, we know what we were doing because the, the head of the studio is still the same guy, just so you know. I thought he was really, oh, I come into work one day, but ah, look, Hot Pursuit did better. Let's go back to making that. Well, there you go, mate. You have been told by the community the Need for Speed Heat is the way we want to go. Of course, just in other information, the other versions, Need for Speed 2015 and Need for Payback, sold between 200 and 500,000 copies on Steam. Of course, on Origin, that's where they would have sold their old games now, so not many people are picking them up and stuff, but still more than Hopsy Remastered! Ha! Again, no issue with the people that worked on the remastered version. They, would, they just did what they were told to do, but it's just, it's nice to see that what I had hoped had happened you know just, just just in terms of directing the next game so that's pretty much all i've got for you today uh, of course like, one last thing i want to talk about is the updates in terms of the next game that's the main issue with heat the game itself is fantastic and i love the game i love it love it love it the, the only thing letting down need for speed heat was the lack of updates and of course they were told not to produce updates because they were told they were going to close that, by the way, that was a lot earlier than we thought it was as well. So they didn't have time to plan what the life cycle for this game was going to be like. But we already know there was missing menus and stuff that was hidden away that told us there was a seasons thing. There was, there was a lot of content planned for this game. But that is the only downfall of the game. And then they, this, all this information surely shows them that he was incredible. They did. They finally pulled in the sales that they want. It was the best selling Need for Speed at the launch of a Need for Speed game ever. Of course, EA Access helped out with that quite a lot. And now it's on Game Pass. So even more so, the next version is going to be even bigger. It's going to be super humongous. But the point is, that is setting the expectation here. Criterion has to come out roaring. Criterion has to do incredible things to match what ghost did and of course i don't know if i want to put into hope that they will there's a lot of ex ghost people there so you have to hope that they're like look look at the data look at the data look at the data i could be a data analyst for you i'm making it very clear the only thing that was bad was the updates i mean the lack of the updates there needs to be more content more often more regular content i don't care if you have a, a, a ultimate pass that has a season pass for cars at the beginning and then you start doing them free just like forza did 
or something so i'm having free updates as well at the same time of course i'm not 100 percent i would like to have some free stuff i think they, they, they had a good idea with having the free aston martin and the pay for mclaren pricing and everything and content and everything i even want to say that i'm gonna i'm gonna unsay that i don't care i just want free content and potentially paid content if i need to fund that paid content rather than microtransactions do you agree do you disagree let me know all right that's your need for speed 2021 information it's looking like heat is the roaring roaring success that ea did not predict i can i 100 know for a fact that that three or four million target was has easily by this time easily been smashed on playstation alone and that seems to be the case with a lot of need for speeds recently they just under predicted under predicted and bah, hey! hopefully we get some information throughout the next year of course we are like six months away from seeing it for the first time probably it felt like need for speed heat has flown by and just got two years it's just this whole year has just gone it's insane to think that need for speed heat has been out for over a year already we're almost in 2021 I, I, it's just boggling the mind you're in the right place for need for speed 2021 you already know what to do hit that subscribe button if you want to, to learn and see everything to do with need for speed 2021 be sure to smash like subscribe if you know i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and until next time peace